Hey all Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Whether you've been around in the Shadowlands for a while or are just coming back, you will quickly find out that some of the Covenant transmog sets come from Corthia, and some are tied to the daily quests there. They aren't up very often either, and that can make these sets take way longer to complete than you'd like. Luckily, I found a way around this. However, you will need a handful of level 60 ults and some setup I'll talk about in order to do this. If you have that, then you're in good shape. First, it's important to note that these sets from the Corthia dailies are the non-armor specific sets added with that patch. So the armor type and class of your alts does not matter. They can all be hunters and mages or something if you so please. What does matter, however, is your covenant. Now, when one of these dailies in Corthia spawns, it will only have one piece of gear for that quest, and you must be a part of the covenant that that quest giver belongs to in order to see the gear as a reward. As an example, the little fey folk here belong to the Night Fey Covenant, so I must be part of the Night Fey to receive the armor reward. You get the idea. Now, if you do the quest, you'll be rewarded with that piece of gear, and huzzah, a new piece of that set. Here's the best part though. Once you have done that quest and learned that transmog you just got, the daily will not reward a duplicate of the same transmog on another character, and instead you'll see another piece of that set. Can you see where this is going? This means that with enough alts, you could actually complete the set in one day because on each alt you get on to come do that quest, it will be a different piece of gear so long as you did it on the previous character. So to make sure you understand this clearly, you need to make sure to do that quest on your alt before moving on to the next. Otherwise, if you just log in on all of them and check the same quest without doing it, it's going to be the same piece of gear, and it won't update because that's the piece it wants you to have first, anyways. There is a kicker though, a requirement, of course, that here kinda sucks. In order to do this, the alts that you have who are level 60 and can access Corthia must have also done their covenant campaigns in order to see the quest givers that offer the transmog set dailies. I know, I'm sorry. And what's more, that alt has to have completed the quest giver's corresponding covenant campaign. So, if you want to see the Venthyr quest giver, you need to do the Venthyr campaign, and so on. I'm not sure why this is what's required on alts because, ouch, and yes, even with the Corthia skip that we have, it does unlock dailies there, but not the ones that give the transmog sets. Yeah, you need your campaign to see those ones. All right. So take this knowledge with a grain of salt. If you have the alts and would like to powerhouse through the campaigns on all of them, doing so will allow you to complete or at least come very close to the transmog sets from Corthia when those dailies come around. Because remember, those don't come around very often. They're actually quite rare. So technically, you get around the time gating by doing this. Obviously, this means that you'll be spending a lot more time up front in order to do this, rather than just waiting for the right dailies to come around on your main, and then checking every day for who knows how long, etc, etc. For reference, I found this out way too late, after I had almost completely finished all the sets on just my main. It took me four to five months to do so, by the way. But when I learned of this, I had my friend Canary learn about it as well, and she was able to complete the entire Night Fae set in a single day because she had enough alts who had already done the Night Fae campaign. So I promise you, it is possible. That said, <laughs> how badly do you want these sets? <laughs> so, I'll leave you with this information so that you can decide for yourself if it's worth it or not to bypass the time gating here. And I can tell you, I wish I knew this ahead of time because I would have done it.
And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.